The 2023 Detroit Lions are receiving more hype than maybe any Lions team ever. I think the hype is warranted, but they'll be tested week one for sure when they play in the season opener against the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. A lot of people are writing Detroit off and saying that Mahomes and company are going to roll over them, but I don't think that's the case. The Lions have a very solid chance against the Chiefs, and here are a few things I think they should focus on to help them pull off the upset. As the NFL season gets closer and closer, it begins to look increasingly likely that Star Chiefs defensive tackle Chris Jones will not play Week 1 due to his continued holdout for a new contract. Jones has expressed his willingness to sit out all the way until Week 8, so I think he would go through with it. This has massive ramifications for the game because Chris Jones is probably the second best defensive tackle in the game. The 6'6 six six monster racked up 15.5 sacks last year, showing just how good he is at applying pressure from the interior. He's a real game wrecker, and if the Chiefs Defensive Player of the Year caliber defensive tackle is out, you gotta take the chance. I know linebacker Nick Bolton is good, but with a Chris Jones sized hole in the defensive line, the Lions are going to have a much better time running the ball. Given Detroit's excellent running back duo of David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, the Lions should definitely be able to get the run game going early and rack up a lot of yards on the ground. When you don't have to make risky throws and can just grind out touchdowns with your running backs, that's super effective and I would expect Ben Johnson to recognize that. There's no two ways around it. Patrick Mahomes is without question the best quarterback in the NFL today, and he's a game changer any way you slice it. The Kansas City QB is about as deadly of a weapon as you can have, and if the Lions want to win, they absolutely must not let Mahomes go crazy. A big one is not letting him use his legs as much. I trust that over the offseason, the team is prepared for facing mobile quarterbacks because they've struggled with that in the past. Another big thing is not allowing Mahomes to convert third and longs. He has this infuriating knack for evading pressure, extending plays, and getting first downs that he has no right to get. If the Lions can cut down on those kinds of plays and limit the deep bombs as well, which the team should be a lot better at this year considering the revamped secondary, they'll be in good shape. Mahomes, being Mahomes, is going to make some plays against Detroit, but if the Lions can focus on specific ways of slowing them down, if not stopping them, there will be less of those plays. Like Mahomes, Travis Kelsey is another incredibly dangerous weapon on the Kansas City offense. Him and Mahomes are far and away the two biggest threats, and it's not even remotely close. The thing is, past Kelsey, there aren't a lot of quality pass catchers on the roster. I mean, Marquez Valdez-Scantling is solid, but everyone else is super unproven or just not that good. If the Lions can kind of put a damper on Kelsey, the game will go a whole lot better for them because if Kelsey isn't available, Mahomes doesn't have a whole lot of quality targets to work with. Obviously, the Lions secondary will be a lot better this year, which will help, but one thing I think is being overlooked by some fans is the linebacker room. Linebackers sometimes have to help cover tight ends, and new addition Jack Campbell plus the emergence of Derek Barnes will certainly help do that. If Kelsey can be slowed down, the efficacy of Kansas City's passing game will be greatly reduced. This is going to be a difficult game anyway, one looks at it. The Chiefs just won a Super Bowl and have a lot of excellent players on their roster. For the first time in years, though, the Lions look poised to hit just as hard as a top opponent. I think this is going to be a close game, and it could go either way, but if the Lions can accomplish these three things, they stand a great chance of winning. With all that being said, I think I'm going to call it quits for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, I would encourage you to subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out. Um, you know, like, all that, you know, all that stuff that YouTubers say. And yeah, thank thank you for watching until this point. You know, if you if you're still here by some miracle, uh, drop a line emoji in the comments. Let me know. You know, if nothing else. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Always open to video video ideas in the comments. By the way, if that's something you guys want to drop there. And yeah, I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.